All right, here we go. So here's a match that is going to be extremely high level, even though I made two misplays, but this is going to show the power of scare claws and how much shit you can actually do. Scare claws almost has an answer for just about every single deck. Um, it's one of those type of decks where you can pretty much do whatever you want, whenever you want. Um, it's a one card combo deck that can pretty much get you to whatever avenue you need to pretty much win the game so my opponent is going to go into this annoying ass dark magician the dragon knight the thing about this particular board that's really annoying is eternal souls protects this card this card protects eternal souls this card becomes unaffected by everything and then this card particularly basically cannot be destroyed because this card's on the field so here we go let's break the board or let's at least try to break the board so i activate right of Air's mirror right here and then of course i put my wandering griffin rider forgetting forgetting completely that I couldn't, oh my god. So I activate this right here, right? Forgetting that I couldn't target this. So that was my goal. I was going to target this and basically send that back with this, but it didn't work. I should have tried to target this card um, instead, but instead I ended up targeting his Dark Magician, which does absolutely nothing. Go Scareclaw Lightheart right here. So that was misplay number one for me. And trust me, I do know about this card's effect. I just, for whatever reason, I tried it. I was frustrated. Couldn't hit what I really wanted to hit, so I got frustrated. I attack into this card right here thinking, okay, I beat over this. Now I can finally deal with this, right? So I go to pop it and he summons back his dark magician and for whatever reason I didn't activate my omni negate like a dumbass basically leaving this card on the field if I had activated this omni negate it would have blew this card up popping everything on his field he wouldn't have had any monsters on his field just this card why didn't I do it I don't know whatever so let's see if I make that mistake again so he's going to activate his Magician Souls right here. Enter the battle phase. He's going to attack into my Triheart. And of course, he baited me again. I activated my DPE to pop this card once this card wasn't on the field. He baited me because he attacked into my DPE as well with his Dark Magician to trigger me to activate for his Eternal Souls. He baited me. You smart little devil, you. Then he goes into Dark the Dark Charmer, grabbing my DPE. You intelligent ass piece of shit, you. This, this, this guy here, super intelligent. Yeah, super smart. But I got four Mud Skipper, which means full combo. So once he ends his turn, full combo, my boy. This, this one card for this deck is insane. Plus I just drew into a rival and dasher can summon itself onto the field denier can summon itself onto the field so here we go so i go four must skipper into lightheart right here activate another field spell so i can grab a visa star frost popping the lightheart going into ip masquerina with those two since they don't really have any effects that's how I get value out of them. Go into Baron the Floor. Use these two to go into Chingying. And then use these to go into Artifact Dagda. Use these two to go into Crusadia Avermax. Now, this is where shit gets different. I got tired of these two card shenanigans. So what do I do? Let's deal with this card once and for all. Now, I make this board like this because... I don't even have to use the barrel on the floor Omni Negate to negate this. I'm going to outsmart this shit, right? 
I don't have to worry about this getting targeted with anything and don't have to worry about using this omni negate don't have to use this to pop anything all i gotta do is use faithful adventure plus chain ying to pretty much banish this card once it's banished this card leaves the field as well and then i can attack for game my boy so how do i do that activate faithful adventure it grabs the water enchantress and i have to discard something so what do i discard water enchantress Activate Water Enchantress to banish, and then that allows me to grab Rite of Air's Mirror and triggers my Changing, allowing me to banish this card right here. Is protect it. This this Dark Magician card right here, Dark Magician and Dragon Knight, protects it from being destroyed, not banished, destroyed. So this card protects Dark Magician from everything. It's completely unaffected, but this card does have its own loophole in how you can destroy the trap itself by banishing it so i trigger that to banish this and on top of that <laughs> i can also banish something in his graveyard so why not take a dark magician with it as well my opponent is out of there ain't no coming back from this particular board he knows it's gg so he quits early this deck is insane GG's my boy, hold that L forever and ever and ever. You were smart, but in the end, I was smarter.